Hey everybody, thanks for watching A Guy Doing Stuff. I'm Adam, and this is the last video of my canoe building series. So now I've built the hole, installed all the gunnels and decks, sealed everything with three coats of epoxy, and sanded that seal down to a 220 grit wet sand. I also brought the canoe in through my second story bedroom window so I could have better temperature and dust control while applying the varnish. I used the same epoxy for the trim as I did for fiberglass in the hole, but I just painted it right onto the bare wood. Some people don't seal their trim with epoxy before varnishing. I do it for a couple reasons. One, it's super strong and waterproof. And two, um, it's a lot easier to varnish onto epoxy than it is to varnish on a bare wood. I'll talk more about the details of all this in the video description, and I'll also put a bunch of links to other varnishing resources. I break the boat into three sections, the inside of the hull, the trim, and the outside of the hull. I put four coats of Epiphane's clear coat marine varnish on each section. It takes at least 24 hours for each coat to dry, so the whole process can end up taking several weeks. I'm starting with the trim. Right before each application, I wipe the surface down with a clean cloth soaked in acetone, and then I wipe it with a tack cloth. For each coat, I stir the varnish and pour it through a strainer into a clean container. For the trim, I use foam brushes to apply it. The trim is kind of tricky because you have all these scupper holes. I get into these with these little foam things I got at a craft store. I fill a couple of them in and then I paint over the gunnel so the drips don't sit for too long. I work my way around the entire rim of the canoe like this. You want to work from a wet edge as much as possible, so don't let either edge of where you're working on sit for too long. I get all the crevices on the trim coats too, so I don't have to worry about them when I'm doing the hole. I jump back and forth on my edges until I finish all the trim. Okay, so I just finished the first trim coat, now I'm going to wait at least 24 hours to let it dry. To prep for the next coat, I do a very light sanding with 400 grit sandpaper. Then I rub it with a scotch bright pad. Then I wipe it down with acetone. Finally, I wipe it down with a tack cloth, then apply the next coat the same way I did the first. I repeat this process for four coats. The trim section is by far the hardest because all the little holes and crevices. After the fourth coat, I take the tape off and put new tape on the gunnel, leaving a little bit of the varnish section showing. I rough that up with sandpaper, then clean the inside of the hole with acetone and tack cloth. I apply the varnish for the hole sections a little bit differently than I did for the trim section. I roll the varnish on with a 4 inch foam roller like this, then I use a clean paintbrush to smooth it out. It actually smooths out pretty easily. You want to work carefully and quickly making sure you keep that wet edge. It's a lot easier to do if you have someone rolling the varnish on and someone else painting it out. I do four coats on the inside too with the same roughing and cleaning process in between each one. Now I flip it over and do the last section with the same process. After four coats, I flip it back over and 
all the seeds and the yolk. And I'm done. It feels really weird finishing a project that I've been obsessing over for the past eight months. Um, I do want to say thank you to everybody for watching my videos and liking them and commenting on them. I told myself from the beginning that I would um, finish this video series regardless of whether people watched it or not. Um, but it's just super validating and humbling to know that there are people out there watching my videos. Um, I am going to post a video here in a couple weeks of me putting it in the water for the first time. So feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing that. Again, thank you so much for watching.